Tignanelli, and this is Client Update for May 2011. Uh, a lot of interesting things going on in the markets right now, and uh, uh, some of them are positive, um, but some of them are still of great concern. Uh, first, let's look at some of the things that are of concern. Uh, last week, we had a, a significant plunge in commodity markets. Uh, oil was down 15 to 20 percent. Um, silver was down 40 percent, went from 50 down to 32 in a period of three days. Uh, that was a pretty uh, significant drop. Um, gold was only down slightly though, which was interesting. And agricultural products it got slammed a couple days, but um, you know they pretty much only went down about five or six percent and then rallied back again. Um, so, but the U.S. stock market has held up pretty nicely, had some minor drops. You're always going to have some down days along the way. Um, Europe, despite its problems, uh, continues to hold up and uh, try to go higher. Um, interest rates have gone down, I believe, unbelievable to me, that people would lend money to the United States government at 3% for 10 years uh, based on the economic circumstances that we see. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke is buying um, $600 billion worth of Treasury bonds. That's about half, uh, well, let's call it a third this year, a third of the U.S. federal deficit in 2011, because our deficit's going to be about $1.5, $1.6 trillion. That's just what we spent over and above what we're going to take in in 2011. And so despite that circumstance, interest rates went down. And uh, um, we just uh, sit back and watch this, these markets. And it is really fascinating is that there's so much government intervention going on, both in the United States and in Europe. And now in Japan, after their earthquake, you have had uh, tremendous intervention in these, these uh, regions or countries to try to prop their economies up. And uh, I think that in Japan's sense, it actually is going to work. But in the United States and Europe's situation, I think that they really have to taste some of the medicine of what their economic policies have been doing uh, before they're going to um, be really ready to take off in another bull market. In the United States, our housing market is still uh, continuing to decline. Uh, which is turning away uh, home buyers uh, in many ways. Um, they're afraid to buy because they think that if they wait another month or two, uh, prices will even go lower. Uh, housing prices in a downturn is not a good thing. Um, and also, uh, commodity prices going significantly higher um, is not a good thing. And uh, people are seeing the U.S. stock market go up and they're hearing that the job reports are better. Uh, and they're saying, wow, you know, that i got to get into the stock market again, you know, and it's finally taken off. Um, I do believe that right now you are seeing a good stock market, and uh, uh, profit margins have never been higher. There's only been one other time in history that the profit margins of corporations, the average profit margin has been as high as it is right now. Uh, there's two good reasons for that. Number one, uh, interest rates are next to zero percent. That's not good for you and me when we're trying to invest and save money in the in the banks, but it's great for corporations who are borrowing billions of dollars at low interest rates, extremely low interest rates. And also corporations have fired a lot of people and they're not rehiring them back. But if you think about it, if they're going to continue to grow, they're going to have to bring those people back on. They can't they can't uh, continue to uh, push forward with less and less people. Now, one of the things many countries, uh, companies are doing who have significant amount of business in emerging markets is they're firing American workers and they're hiring new workers in the emerging market countries at significantly less cost. And so that's one of the reasons why we believe that blue chip stocks who have a good balance sheet, pay a good dividend, and have a large emerging 
emerging market exposure um, are still very good investments. That's one of the reasons. Uh, another thing that we like right now is commodities. Uh, we think commodities are an excellent opportunity still. Despite the downturn last week, we think that our energy is a tremendous buy. Oil, gasoline, natural gas are going to be tremendous opportunities. Uh, we believe currencies of strong countries, especially the Asian countries, China, um, uh, Thailand, Singapore, not Thailand, I take that back, uh, Taiwan, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, these are uh, tremendous currencies uh, uh, that have uh, tremendous upside potential. Uh, we like their stock markets also. We like the Japanese stock market. We like the Korean stock market, Taiwan, Singapore, China, Hong Kong. Uh, the opportunities are, are outstanding in these areas at this point in time. And we uh, also like technology stocks. If you can uh, get them in a downturn, right now they don't seem to want to come down anymore. But uh, you get any kind of pullback in the NASDAQ, uh, that's the opportunity to buy the technology stocks. Yet, put that all together and weigh it with this one thing. We believe wholeheartedly between now and a couple years out, there's one more big downturn to take place. And there's a lot of good reasons for that. You know, number one, the Fed has to re um, uh, adjust its balance sheet. I'm not going to go into the full explanation of that, but uh, the Fed has uh, borrowed two trillion, or not borrowed, printed two trillion dollars of money. They can't leave that out there. They know they can't leave that out there. They've got to get rid of it, uh, or pull it back, I should say. And um, um, you still have the European debt crises out there. That has to be rectified. We still have our housing problem. That has to be rectified. The United States is still not controlling its spending patterns and our, our uh, government is dysfunctional in, in many ways. These issues have got to be addressed still. Um, and until they're righted, you cannot see, you will not see, in my opinion, a major bull market take place. Uh, so you need to be cautious. Um, but right now, there's no reason to believe it's going to fall apart tomorrow. But uh, you need to be cautious. So that's what we're thinking about. That's what we're doing. So I'll just say this is Drew Tignanelli saying God bless.